There's a video online that shows what happens when the mouse is put into a bottle of Mountain Dew for 30 days. It actually ends up being 37 in this other video. And it's a result of a guy uh, putting forth a lawsuit that said, oh, well, there's a mouse in my bottle of Mountain Dew. And then Pepsi responded, well, it's impossible. If a, pep if a mouse is actually in your bottle of Mountain Dew, it would have been completely dissolved with the exception of the tail. And so then they put it to the test and they show what happens and sure enough ends up being true. So after watching that video, I'm thinking, oh my goodness, how can I ever drink a bottle of Mountain Dew again? It's disgusting. Can't put this in my body. And I started thinking, well, wait a second. What about other soft drinks or other drinks in general? What would happen if I actually put them in a container for, say, a month or so? So I had me an experiment. And so I have nine mice in nine different drinks, and this is the result. This is water. Go for it. First one, we have no idea how bad this is going to stink. Does it reek? Alright, dump it out, dude. Oh, it reeks. It reeks. <laughs> Powerade. It's quite the concoction. All right, go for it, dude. <laughs> Just be careful. Oh. Oh. That's what's left of the mouse. Yeah. Pepsi? Yeah. Alright, so all you. Careful with this. Don't spill on me. It's quite pungent. Yeah. Yeah. I there's there's no there's nothing left. Basically except for a tail. Oh, Monster. Yeah. All right. Okay. Let's get get it low. Get closer to the Sludgeville. All right. Don't splash it now. Uh, yeah. This was left a monster. Now we got some cranberry juice. Yay! Okay, go for it. Dude, this reeks out here. Oh! It's quite pungent. That, that's what's left of the mouse. Pretty much, uh. <laughs> got some tail action.
Now, the next one we have here is, what was this, Shane? Verner's. This has got nothing left here. All right, go, go farther over there. Be careful now. <laughs> Come on, take too long. Don't, now, don't get down to the ground and then do it because you don't want any splashing. Sheet and splashing. Oh. It really smells. What is that? It smells like a turd covered in burnt hair. <laughs> Mountain Dew. It's really starting to smell here. Like it's bad. <laughs> oh. All right, Mountain Dew. Don't tip it over now until it's time. Let's take a look at it from the side. All right, Mountain Dew. Oh yeah! <laughs> oh, it's green. Oh, that's a beauty. <laughs> Yeah, Mountain <laughs> Dew, man. Orange juice. Have that with your cereal. It's so good. Once it hits your lips, it's so good. Okay. Do it. Game time, man. Put it over here. Make sure, like I said, make sure you. Spill it, don't dump it. You don't want any splatter. Turn it the wrong way. Turn it the wrong way. Oh. Oh. Keep it down low, dude. Keep it down low. Alright. Do it! Oh. <laughs> Orange juice. Ah. <laughs> it is. Of course, tail still intact. After that, it's just a bunch of mouse chunks. The orange juice is split up into a couple different layers there. We had the pulp, if you want to call it that, in the bottom. We had the other stuff on the top. Saving this one for last because we figured it probably smell the worst. Wait a second, wait, let's get the picture of it. Yeah. So this is gonna smell real bad. Alright, let's put it over there. We're gonna do a dump and run. Okay. Do not spill the meat or yourself. This will stick with you. Oh alright, the mouse is still intact. I'm holding my breath as they talk. Alright, there we go. <laughs> Milk was a bad choice. Every experiment needs conclusion and analysis. So, Pepsi was definitely the most catastrophic drink for that mouse. Followed by Werner's, Mountain Dew, Monster, Powerade, Orange Juice, Cranberry Juice, Milk, and then Water. Now on the left hand side, there's the pH levels for each of those drinks. And Pepsi also happens to be the drink with the highest, or I should say the lowest pH level. It's tied with cranberry juice. Now, the highest pH level, water, also was the least catastrophic for the mouse. And for the most part, there's a correlation between the pH level and the mouse dissolution. How scientific. So, in summary, even though Mountain Dew might turn your stomach highlighter yellow, and it's probably not the best thing to put in your stomach in the entire world, I'm going to keep doing it. Because I thought, yeah, maybe Mountain Dew is getting a bad rap here. And you know what? Just about any soft drink is going to pretty much do the same thing that Mountain Dew did. That's what I've learned. And on a side note, in case you're thinking about doing this at home, <laughs> do not ever put a mouse in a jar of unrefrigerated milk for 65 days. It was easily the most disgusting thing I've ever smelled in my entire life.
milk was a bad choice. <laughs>